What's up guys? This is the Austin Nerd Show and we're back again doing another unboxing and today we have our very first BAM box. Um, so of course um, for those of you that are in like the boxing uh, like subscription box community this box kind of like took over last month and being declared you know the best box there is and everything and stuff so I thought you know with all the hype we should try it out and everything and especially this month the theme is galactic and it showed Star Wars stuff so being a Star Wars fan I didn't want to you know miss out on possibility of cool stuff um, but this box has contained um, some cool things in the past so hopefully it'll continue on with this one um, so it looks like so it's hard to explain some stuff with this box. So first off, we got that we did get a one-up item, which I would assume just about everybody gets one. Um, I thought that, because there's usually multiple items that you can get one-up, which makes it a better item than what it was. Like it's better quality or a different color or something that makes it more limited. And uh, usually you get something, but I'm not exactly sure. But it says, congratulations, you got a one-up card. You have been... Up you have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box and we got to so it's green and stuff so we have that so we'll have to try and figure out what it is um, looks like there's a little advertisement thing and then another advertisement for all this BAM box stuff and then it looks like we got a pin for this month and it's got what I assume is a rocket raccoon it's hard to see with this look and everything but it's a rocket raccoon pin and it says love on it um, so it's just kind of like, I think, like a tattoo-ish type thing. You just, I don't know how to describe it, but the things with the flowers around them and stuff will be like a skull or something. Um, but that's when I'm... So I'm not sure if that could be an upgraded item because they, like, change different colors and stuff. But not exactly sure, but we'll have to look into it. Um, so we got paper! Hopefully there's nothing in the paper. I don't think so. Um, first off, we have Mars Space Sand. I don't know what this is. It says pour sand into a cup of water, form shapes and figures with the sand while underwater, remove the sand with a spoon and it'll be dry. And it says never gets wet. So that's gonna be really cool to try out to see if it really works and never get wet and stuff. Never had anything like this before. Of course, I've seen commercials like Pat in the past when I was a kid, they would always have the stuff you could build like castles and um, fish tanks and stuff like that. So I assume that's what this is gonna be. Um, but it's really cool. To, like I said, definitely have to try it out to see um, how it works. And uh, next up, we have a Star Trek item, and it's, so it's their um, logo, of course, from Star Trek. And there's some other things. I don't know. Um, as I've said before in the past, I don't know a whole lot about Star Trek to know what all this is. I mean, I obviously know um, it's the like logo and stuff. But then there's these other pins down here. And I don't know what they um, are for. I assume some sort of like ranking system or something. Not like I said, not exactly sure, but um, we have those, whatever they are. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Next up, we have a um, piece of looks like I'd say um, I'm not exactly sure. It's from Aliens, and it's a piece of the jacket. Um, it says worn by the Aru. I don't know how to spell Aruga crew and it's in this like locked up sealed um, case and everything so there's the jacket there and stuff of course from aliens and there's a piece as you can see um, over in the spot there and then there's a better picture of the jacket back there from Ray aliens resurrection stuff so that's so this is a good example of like the stuff this box contains it's has a lot of um, like memorabilia and has a lot of sign things and um, just stuff that's not like collectible items like toys and stickers and stuff like that, but more like actual like collector items, you could say. Um, but we'll move on from that. So next up we have a BAM box certificate of authenticity for this pretty cool picture of Sinestro and uh, the Green Lantern. So that's oh, a George. really cool picture. And of course this is 229 out of one that or one nine sorry, nineteen ninety nine. As you can see there, and then of course signed by the um, uh, artist of this. So that's a really nice picture, which um, again, this is another thing that uh, Bambox is known for is putting all these prints, um, like pictures and stuff like this, limited pictures um, in the box and stuff, which make really nice pictures of frame and everything. So that's really nice. I love the whole uh, lantern like showing off, um, coming off of his chest and stuff there. 
That is really cool. That's a great picture. Um, next, looks like maybe the last item in here. We have some sort of standy thing, but it's a Boba Fett, which is really awesome. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a book, like a bookend type thing, or just some like figure thing you can uh, put on a shelf or something. But that is really cool. But it's a metal. Could I don't know what else it would be. I guess we have the thing in here um, to tell. Um, but yeah, so it's really cool, whatever it is. It's awesome. Looks awesome. Um, so now we will look at the sheet here to see, um, the different stuff. Um, so it looks like you could have got, um, with the pictures, you could have either gotten, uh, Thanos picture, um, as shown here at the top, or the, um, lantern picture. And so the Thanos looks like you could have a regular or black and white. And then the picture you could have got, um, where uh, Green Lantern was a Red Lantern instead, which I know Bro would love that as he um, likes the Red Lanterns and all that stuff. So he would have liked that. Um, then, of course, we got the sh um, piece of the alien jacket. Then there was... Um, so it just says the things are Star Wars um, handmade um, steel silhouette statues. And so, of course, you, we got the Boba Fett, but you could have got... Um, any of the others, I don't know if the color would have changed depending if you got the um, one-up thing. But of course we got both. But the Yoda would have been awesome. Then the sand. And it looks like we didn't get the comic because we didn't get the gold star. Then you have the um, Star Trek The Next Generation rank pin set. So that's what that is with all the dots and stuff. And then it looks like we did get a... Um, one up on or our one up thing was their uh, pin, so you could have got a, a group or rocket, so it'd be hard to see down there. Um, but they're like the normal pins are just their regular colors, um, but we got the gold versions, so it's cool. I mean, I think I could have liked the um, regular colored ones is better, but it's cool we did get a gold item and all this stuff and everything. So that is it for um, our very first BAM box. What was your favorite item out of this, bro? Uh, probably the portrait of Sinestro and Hal Jordan. As I expected to be. This is probably going to be my favorite thing, too. This is just an awesome picture. And, um, Bro's a fan of all the lantern cores and all that stuff, so we're probably going to be hanging this picture up possibly somewhere, at least displaying it on the TV or something like that. But that's so cool, and I, like I said, seeing that thing, I know he would have loved the red, or the red lantern more, but, um, we got the green one stuff. So that's going to be awesome. I'm going to play with our sand. Maybe put both fed up on the shelf behind us and stuff, but that's going to be it for the bo um, box this month I'll probably put the link in the description below so if you can um, Go to that if you want to get one of these boxes yourself um, So that's gonna be it for the month. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to check out our other videos and we'll see you next time <laughs>